Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well, hope you are doing amazing. Today I'll be speaking about the last, I think it's 11 months, 10 months of my 2020 year and that includes COVID, that includes competing in America and really just, um, just how it's been for me really. Before I start, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you turn your notifications on so you can find out when I post my videos. Yes. <laughs> In January, I left the UK to go to America, Columbus, Ohio, to attend Ohio State University. I had never visited the school. I didn't really... I was only in contact with my coach, really. Um, and a few others. I slid into some DMs from the track team just to find out how it is and stuff like that. It was a big jump, but for me, if you don't take a risk, you don't get big rewards. Period. So that's what I done. When I got here, I was nervous. I had uh, some of my stuff shipped over using a courier service. I had my suitcase, my broken suitcase and I got there late at night. A few ups and downs, just trying to settle in, find my feet, and then let's skip to when, um, conference. Let's talk about Big Ten Conference. I remember it. I was so nervous because all the competitions prior to that, I just wasn't really performing. I was getting in my head, I knew what I could do, it just wasn't coming together, which was really frustrating, not only for me, but it was probably very frustrating for my coaches, because they knew how well I could do, they knew the potential, um, they could see me getting in my head, and I was letting everything outside of track um, distract me, not distract me, but I just wasn't very focused. However, Big Tens came, well, first of all, my mum came, my mum flew in, and... Uh, I picked her up from the airport, which was really nice. So, what was that? January, February? Oh, it wasn't too long. It was only two months. I didn't see her for two months. Um, we was in constant communication. And I was so excited for when she came. She drove down. Oh my goodness, I can't remember where Big Tens was. Geneva. So, we went to Geneva where Big Tens was. It's a 300 indoor track, which threw me off so much. Like I was so confused when I was like jogging on it, warming up. So conference is basically a cluster of schools in America that compete. They might have the same, the same standard of athletes. They might have the same budgets, the same kind of schooling procedures and stuff like that. So they get clustered. There's loads of different conferences in America. There's Big Ten, there's SEC, there's Big 12, Pac-12, ACC, Sun Belt. There's loads of different um, conferences. So I was in the hurdles. I was in the high jump and I was also in the pentathlon. The pentathlon was on the first the first day and I'd done okay in the hurdles, I'd done okay in the high jump. Uh, what was next? Shot put, I was so, I wasn't disappointed, but my warm up throws were going so far and then I just got in my head. Um, I still ran, ran? I still threw a PB or a PR, but I was a bit, I, I knew I could have done better. And oh my goodness, the long jump. The long jump. If anyone knows how I feel about the long jump, it's like a love-hate relationship. I got in my head, I don't know what happened. Uh, I just wasn't finding my rhythm for my run-up. But anyways, that was the long jump. Didn't do well. And then I put so much pressure on myself for the 800. The 800 is my like my nemesis out of all the, the events. Um, it's more mental than anything. Actually, no, it's not even mental. Yeah, it is mental. I don't know what an acid burn feels like, but that is what it fe that's what it feels like for me anyways. Currently, we are working on that. In the pentathlon, I came third, which I was happy with, but obviously you want to win. I wanted to win, but I knew where my mistakes were made and 
I I still got a PR of um, 4,113, I think it was. Um, but yeah, that's okay. I'm pulling up my power of 10 because I don't know my scores. Right, for the 60 meter hurdles in my pentathlon, I ran 8.22. For the high jump, I jumped seven, no, I didn't jump seven. I jumped one meter 76. For the shot put, I threw 12 meters 14. For the long jump, I jumped five, 46. And for the 800, I ran 2.25. After the 800, I'm not even kidding you, maybe 15 minutes after, maybe 20, I had to run the heat for the 60 meter hurdles. Now, if you know me, you know after the 800, I am dead. Like, I'm lying on the floor, I can't move. Like, someone needs to shake my legs, someone needs to do anything because I am so tired. Anyways, do, do, do. I didn't, I couldn't do that. I couldn't afford to do that. So I had to, like, I don't even know, I don't know how I got from A to B. But anyways, I got from A to B. I went in the normal tech boots. Um... And my coach was like, you just need to just do whatever you can, but just, just, you know, just focus really. All we had to do was come first or second um, to guarantee us into the final. And I think I came second and I ran like 8.3, something like that. And I made it to the final. I was like, thank God. I was so scared that I was going to buckle over a hurdle. I thought my legs were just going to kick it. I didn't even know if I was able to push out the blocks. Like, that's how scared I not scared, but that's how tired I was. I've never done that before. Anyways, made it for the final. Perfect. Second day. Second day came, and I had the high jump and the hurdles final. The high jump was first, and I came second. <laughs> jumped 1 meter 78 and I was so so close to the next height I think it was I think it was 1 meter 82 but that was a good competition I had people didn't really know who I was uh, because I haven't competed at in a big 10 conference before so it was nice to be like the underdog um, even a pentathlete at that and then um, become a medalist in the high jump, which was really fun. So, oh my goodness. Now, let me tell you about hurdles. I get so excited telling this story. I know I'm good. I know I'm a good athlete, but sometimes I just struggle to like believe it. But this year, like I said, I've been working on that. I've been trying to focus and just know that if people can see it, why can't I? So I finished high jump. And I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes. I came second, um, amazing. And they're like, okay, you have to warm up for hurdles. And I said, I'm pumped. Like I'm super pumped from the high jump and it's time to warm up for the hurdles. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling loose. Like I, I kid you not, I done like one drill, one hurdle drill. And I was like, oh my gosh, like that felt so effortless. Like, I don't know what happened. I know what happened. It's, it's all in your head, it's mental. I just felt so ready. I said to my coach, look, coach, I, I, I'm ready. Like, I don't need to warm up too much. He said, are you sure? I said, I, I think so. Like, I think I'm, I think I'm ready. So if you guys don't know me, then here we go. When I'm like in the zone, I'll put my headphones in. I'll have my hood up. Like, no one's talking to me. Don't talk to me because I'm not talking back to you. Like, it's just not happening. So anyways. <laughs> anyways I am um, so I'm doing that I'm doing like every other drill I think or I'm just doing little stuff every so often I'm just listening to my music I'm just staying focused because I know that once what whilst I'm in this zone like I'm staying in it so anyways we've done a couple to the first hurdle couple to the second couple to the third da, 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 da. now it's time to go to um, the cool room I didn't even do a practice run over the hurdles for that actual race. I just set my blocks up the exact same that it was when I was practicing. I didn't go on over any hurdles. I sat on my numbers and I just, I just, I was just staring down the line. I don't know. I'll try and find a video, or maybe you could find a video and send it to me if you have it. I was so focused. I just remember thinking, coming in, my coming in, my coming in. I was like revving. Um, anyways, on your marks, get set, go. Uh, well, here's the, here's the video, you can watch it. And it's a clean start. Cuban in five out very well. She has an advantage. 
but out in lane seven, the champion, a double fist for Emma Norfor. 8.07, a new facility record. Another one goes down. Yeah, oh my gosh, I'm like, okay, I've got a bad start, but quick, 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 turn over, turn over, turn over. And then, um, like, I'm, I'm turning over, I'm like, huh? Like, where is everyone? But I'm like, no, 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 just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. Um, and then I got off the last hurdle and I was running and to be honest, I could have run harder. I could have run harder and maybe I would have got sub eight, but the clock stopped at, it said like 8.11. I was like, oh my gosh, this is a PB. This is so massive because this whole season I was running 8.4, 8.4, 8.4. So to run 8.1, I skipped I was like, yo, this is amazing. And then I turned around and it said 8.07. And I was like, oh my goodness. I I just ran a world-class time. Like me, Emma, two two trail legs. I used to have two trail legs because my lead leg was doing its own thing. She's doing it. Miss Emma from our across the pond. How are you feeling right now? I'm I need to hear it all. 8.07. Hey. I was ecstatic. I was so happy. I was just so relieved and the fact that my mum was there to watch, the fact that like all my teammates and my friends and my family from back at home was watching, I was just, I was like 2020, this is my season, Olympics, I'm coming for you, like yes, like I see you in Tokyo. I was number one in the UK for 60 metre hurdles and that was great, I was so happy with that, that was just a confidence boost, that just showed me like I can do it, like, Emma, you got the skills, you got this. And I think I was seventh in the NCAA going through to nationals um, the weekend after, or a couple weeks after, so that was really exciting. And I broke the arena um, stadium record and we won conference as a whole. So really, I feel like I done, I done a good job. Now it's time for nationals. This is where all the big dogs come together and compete. All those schools from those different conferences, the top 12, I think, from each event, go here and compete to basically be university college champion. And I went for hurdles and I went for the pentathlon. Nationals was in Albuquerque in New Mexico, which was really exciting. And there was a nice group of us. There was a nice... There's a nice girls group and a nice guys group, which was really fun. This was my first, um, my first indoor national, so I was super hyped. I knew that I was in good shape. I knew that I was in the mix to win. It was just the case of performing and showing up when it was needed. So we got there, we're warming up, and everyone's kind of talking about COVID this, COVID that. We're like, what? COVID, what is COVID? What? What is COVID? What is that? So anyways, we're just there warming up and you hear speculations and people saying, oh, Nationals is going to get cancelled, this, this, that, that. Our banquet got cancelled, which I was annoyed about because I'd done my hair myself, which I'll show you guys. And I thought it would just be a nice way, like, like I said, this was my first and last indoors or indoor Nationals indoors so I was just excited to be there experience it all but again to do my job and perform um, so I was a bit sad about that but we're warming up and then kind of the coaches all go one by one and then school start leaving um, they said they said nationals is cancelled they said that although we're there we're cancelling it cancelling it because of covid my first thought was oh my gosh I don't have to run the 800 and then moments later, literally two seconds later, I said, no, because you trained for it. I was like, you're not going to be able to do this ever again. You're here, you're, you're on the track, and you're not going to be able to compete in your final indoor nationals. So I was really sad. I was absolutely gutted. Um, the fact that I was in such good shape, but I wasn't able to compete. I wasn't able to... Um, experienced that which was a shame um no one knew how bad this covid19 global pandemic was going to be 
so everything was up in the air. I remember um, our school, my school, OSU, uh, the team, we still went for a meal, which was really nice. We got to um, eat and talk among our coaches, among the athletes and our teammates and our trainers, which was um, fun. Everything changed. On that flight home, when we came back, everything changed.